Welcome back to Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. So explain to me why this place is purple. It's purple because this is where the Metroids are, I suppose, like the main chamber of SR388. Maybe even the main labs where the Chozo worked on their Metroid uh, regeneration type stuff. Can you imagine being the scientist that creates the Metroid and then goes, Oh, dude, sweet. I, I created this thing, and it's awesome, and it's cool, and oh my god, why is it eating Jerry? Yeah, I, I think it was pretty immediately uh, weaponized and deemed too dangerous to exist. Ooh. Got uh -oh. four this time. Well, all right, time to hop to it. Yep, let's hop to it. <laughs> Charge me. So, guys, do you think we should make, like, you know, proper walking surfaces, or do you think we should make a bunch of places where you have to, you know, jump and all that? That looks like fire. Yeah, it is way too hot to go in there. There's a thing in there we can't get, so we're going to have to skip it. See, look, it's red. Way too hot for us. All right. Ah, fuck. Get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? What are you doing? I, I like that those enemies, their sole purpose is just to electrocute things. <laughs> must shock, must zap. Ah, no. So about that dodge mechanic. There's no dodge mechanic. I mean, about it's that a, it's bitch a slap. It's a counter mechanic. Counter mechanic. I just wanted to call it a bitch slap. Again. I do like bitch slap though. <laughs> bitch slap counter. <laughs> That's basically the, when Samus is done with your shit. That's oh, the too other end of that. So I can't go in there. Can't go in there either. So the other way to go is this way. We've experienced the first Metroid 2 soft lock. All right. Have a little save here, just because uh, I feel like it. <laughs> it hurts! Those are all of Samus's thoughts being scrambled and unscrambled. Oop. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Let's just calm down here, alright? Didn't really get down there yet. <laughs> the bat flying towards you. I am calm! <laughs> Don't tell it's me you're the one who needs to calm down! <laughs> Don't tell me how to calm down, lady! Can't get that just yet. Have to get that on the other way around. So you hate it when I get up there and that's when they decide to attack. Mm-hmm. Hit, hit. There is a thing up there, though. Oh, it eventually goes away. Uh, it does. Well, that's fine. You just gotta use it again. I don't even think I can. Nope. Yeah, I need a bomb. I don't even have the bombs yet. Well, get the boom. Alright, which way are we going? We're going? Actually, we're going up there, yes. Get the boom. No, we're gonna go get that boom. Ugh, fucking, here we're gonna, get, we're gonna get that boom. All right, here we comes get the, up there boom! And get the boom. Samus, here comes the Please. boom. We're gonna get that boom up here now. Are we really gonna get that boom? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Do you think Metroid Dread's gonna take place on SR388? It's already not. Okay. But do you think the Zero Mission part of that mission will take place on SR388? I don't know. And I'm only saying that just to get people's hopes up. More well, game after the main game? It's coming out in less than a month. Actually, a couple weeks, actually. So. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> it's already almost October! I know, I'm excited. Ah. I got a bomb, I'm excited about that, too! <laughs> <sighs> so what is your typical stuff? should be noted that you can set the bomb and stand up and won't be affected by it, but it can affect your morph ball, though. So, the huge. You gotta get a bomb to get down here. Are you sure? Oh, there we go. Definitely. Aw, uh, can you IBJ? Yes, you can. Nice. Can IBJ, but you don't have to. And for those not in the know, it is infinite bomb jump. Oh, I thought it was irritable bowel jump. <laughs> I really have to shit. <laughs> I really have to shit, boing, 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 boing. <laughs> it's just, Samus does little toots in order to bounce and morph ball. <laughs> 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 
Samus, now is not the time to act like a frat boy. Right, where to next? We're going on up. Moving on up. I need to get some health back. I don't like having an empty E tank. That way, yes. Fuck out of here. Ah, oh, that was so nice. It's satisfying to see somebody who's good at this game actually play it, or at least better than I am. I'm not, I'm not, you know, a master at it. I can't beat the game in four hours. Aha! Moving on down. This is one of the teleport points. Oh! Because now that's opened up. So we can go back to that part on the surface if we want to go back and get those extra collectibles, but we'll get that towards the end of the game. So in the different sections, do you have to... Okay, so that second Metroid gate that we found? Yes. The, the one that we're on right now? Yes. Are there Metroids in the first section that you'll eventually have to get back to? No. This It's uh, eradicate all Metroids to move on. In those areas? Yes. Oh, okay. So d d don't think that you can, you know kill one Metroid from Area 2, then go to Area 3 and kill three there. That yeah, that'll that, be, that, that doesn't work like that. Okay, that's there what are I four, There are four Metroids in Area 1, and we're gonna kill them all. Okay. First, we're getting something pretty, pretty major. <gasps> the Ice Beam! The Ice Beam. Well, shoot! Now we can take out Metroids faster! Well, we, got, we have their, uh... We have their Achilles heel taken care of, certainly. Mm -hmm. so Metroids are very susceptible to cold. <laughs> you know... So, so here we, we, we have to switch between beams. Oh. Because there is no more beam stacking. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Oh wait, go back to the Chozo. Can you refill your life there? It doesn't refill a life, it just refills Aeon. So oh, I, So okay. I can, you know... So you can do the thing. And, so, so you can have the brain blast and... Yeah. I could break this down here to get another collectible, but you know it's it. <laughs> that's a that's a end of game collectible. Oh my lord! Yeah, it's ridiculous. For this one, we basically gotta we gotta hit that thing so we can jump on it and get over there. The thing is, if you do hit it with the charge attack, it'll stay frozen longer. Free sucker! There. That easy, huh? Yep. I don't know, switching beams is interesting. I do like the stacking in Super Metroid and even in Zero Mission. I don't know, it just made everything more convenient. I feel that. Like you could have wave beam that freezes things. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Points for style, Samus, I think. Well, here we go again. And fire! Oi! Oi! Ah! Like too high. Yeah, hell well. Don't even need it. <laughs> or do we? Do no, you? No, we don't need it yet. Now is not the time to have a crisis. No, it isn't. Oh. Wait, what the hell did you just do? Oh, that was the Aeon you were using. Yes, so I can reveal more than that. Okay. Oh, oh, well, well, well. <laughs> I'm stuck. Help. God, wouldn't it suck if our heroine was claustrophobic? It would. Like, she hates going in Morph Ball. Too far, I think. Too far. Oh, yep. uh, almost, though. Okay, so, yeah, you'll have to be froze. Can you hang on to the ledge and shoot him from there? Probably. I could probably jump up there, too. So wait until he's, like, floating to the left, I think, is your best bet. Oh, really? Unless he just doesn't want to do it. There we go. That might be it. There you go, buddy. Beautiful. Oh. And there it is, an Aeon Tank upgrade. Oh. Yes. And it just extends it just a little smidgen. Just a little bit. Oh, not down there. I just noticed the Metroid alarm. Yeah, there is a Metroid nearby. 
but we probably can't get it until we get like the the, the sneeze beam in level four or something like that. Gotta get something special. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it's so cold there. What will I tell my family? It is so cold. Oh, that's staying open. Forever? Maybe not forever, but oh, look at there. He Ooh, has awakened. Look at here. He has awakened. Yeah. The alarm's going crazy. That's standing. First. I thought you were about to say, next time on Metroid, <laughs> Samus Returns. Oh no, we're, 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 we're clearing the area. That's what's happening. The Metroid isn't that way, actually. Huh? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Maneuver, damn it! God. <sighs> Fucking... Ugh. It's in me! Help! Things get a little claustrophobic sometimes. See, she's afraid of claustrophobia. Afraid of claustrophobia. Yeah, she's afraid of the fear of tight spaces. This is another thing that we didn't get into in uh, the original Metroid 2. What was that? An item unique to Metroid 2. The Spider Ball. Well, I guess it was in Metroid Prime. Metroid too, Prime. Well. All right. So everything is from Metroid Prime, apparently. This is where it came from. Stick to and move along certain walls and ceilings. Hold L. Yep. So basically, you just go into a ledge and then hold L, and there you go. It works on any ledge? Almost any ledge. Okay. Some uh, some walls have, like, sap on them. Mm hmm. So you can't really, yeah, uh, yeah. But everything else, you can just, you know. Just... You know, I think it was around the time I got the Spider Ball in Metroid Prime is when I stopped. It just got obnoxious to backtrack all that time. Here's how we reach new heights, basically. Aw, Samus and her personal achievements. Missile tank! She got a missile tank. Up here? Uh-oh. Ah! Uh Oi! <laughs> Piece of shit! <laughs> See, all of, all of these creatures want to throw her a surprise party. And there's another Metroid! Another Alpha Metroid! Alright, kill it. Oh, oh, fuck you. That hurt. Whoa! Yeah. It, res it responds well to being hit by missiles. As well as ice. There we go. Right, that's our second Metro taken care of. 38 more to go. Yes. Get the spider ball around here and just keep making our way up. For some reason, the imagery of a Metroid Mafioso boss. Like, these are their territories that you're just invading. There it is. Bomb? Yep. Energy tank! <gasps> oh, I like that. How sweet it is. And that's a good thing, because the next Metroid does 100 damage per hit. Oh, yes. This game's unfair, actually. <laughs> oh, I love that. You can nudge yourself onto a different platform. We'll eventually get the ability to jump in Morph Ball. <laughs> I thought you were just thinking, like, Samus doesn't know how to jump in the sequel, I'm sorry. <laughs> She has forgotten a lot. Maybe it's been a long time since Zero, since uh, Zero Mission and Metroid 2. So maybe she just... Well, even then, with Prime. Yeah. So I wonder how long it's been since Prime. I don't know. And up here is a couple things. It's a place to refill our energy, but it's already refilled. And a place to refill our ammo. Which is already filled. Well, aren't we just the best? You know, it's kind of good that Samus finally went to rehab for her obsession with missiles. Yeah. 
It's all about the power-ups now. Now it's all about violence towards Metroids. Where's that motherly instinct, Team Ninja? I came to find out that uh, Metroid Other M was written by the producer. It was not Team Ninja that did it. Really? Yeah. So we have Team Ninja to thank for the combat system. Well, but, it depends on how you want to... Yeah, I mean... I mean, it was still cool. Some weird design choices, but still interesting. I mean, that, up there. Up here, that's how you get that. Drop down here. I think we can break one of these. Can't. Go can we down. use Aeon? See if there's a shortcut? Yeah, let's just go down here. Actually, we could use Aeon. We go there anyway. Nope. Nothing. Wow. Guess we're just going down the old-fashioned way. Going down the old-fashioned way. Got him. Oh. She actually picked up some gravity there. Damn. No. This tank. Yeah. I think we got everything I got down there, so I think we can start moving this way. Just to fill up this part of the map, at least. Do you mind? Thank you. How do those bats even mate? Something like that. That's... It, it has a gross, like, spike tongue. Ew. How, hey. are, how is there more than one? Hey, man, love is love. How, how did the Chozo look at that and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna let that thing live. Maybe it only showed up after they left? Maybe this is a result of the Metroids? Like... Creatures had to adapt, so those bats became mosquitoes or something like that. Maybe everything's just a life sucker on this planet. Just like the original Metroid 2 was sucking my soul. <laughs> I never played it. Don't listen to me. No, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna take that as an endorsement. And now, because of you, the Metacritic rating has dropped considerably. And I never understood why people are so obsessed with Metacritic. <laughs> I, I did a Metabomb on Metroid 2! <laughs> So many years after the fact! Alright, got oh, it. Actually, I Just, think we're yeah, I think we're done here, so a, I think we can start moving down here. A 30-year meta bomb. Wow. Checking the map, checking the map. Do, do, do. I went too far. Tisk, tisk, U to G. Yes, I know. <sighs> well, if you can see the map, it's a little bit difficult to tell where you've been and where you're going. Some things connect, some things don't. I'm just hoping to, to to confuse you. I really can't wait to see how you edit these episodes. No, neither can I. Because <laughs> you want to make sure people can see the big 3DS screen, but there's also the the smaller screen. You know, it has some you know interesting information in it. I guess. I'm trying to make something work. I'll just have to see. I think this is where we want to be, yes. For people who want a little bit of background, 3DS footage is really hard to come by. Especially now. It's, I mean, if you want to get 3DS footage on actual hardware, which is what this is... It is now near impossible. It's near impossible. I mean, he says there's nobody else doing modded 3DSs. I'm, I'm thinking, nobody? Literally nobody. Ale allegedly. Allegedly no- Oh, did you just fucking push me in there? Fuck you. Ow, ow, ow. Boom! <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck! Yeah, you better run! But now they're gonna start hitting with, uh, things that you can't counter. Oh, electricity? Yeah, they all have elements now. They'll start dropping shit on you. Like hard truths. <laughs> <laughs> like hard truths. <laughs> all right. Planet Zeebs was an inside job! It probably was. <laughs> like, I don't know if there was a, uh, a Chozo that betrayed everyone or whatever. <laughs> you, know? you know how it is, you know, they, they make something that's good for the benefit of the universe and someone wants to weaponize that and make a, make a killing off of it. God, the Chozo and the pharmaceutical companies of the Resident Evil universe have a lot in common. You think uh, you think Umbrella was funded by the Chozo? There's probably a conversion rate in there somewhere, but yeah, I think so. 
I think there's just that one dude who's just like, I can make a weapon out of this. Like, the Metroids were actually docile. They only attack things that ah! they were command to attack. And then, you know, somebody flipped the brain switch and it's just like, well, hey. well, this thing is supposed to be uh, vicious towards everything. We did it, guys. We made a weapon. Uh, see, I don't think they were supposed they were just supposed to take care of the X-Parasites, just, just so that way things in the universe can continue to live, because the X-Parasites eat absolutely everything, and they found out, so do the Metroids! Oops. Oh, oh, oh. oh that, that, that didn't work out as well as planned. Ah, it's okay. It's alright, we still got this. Just, just a little bit of a regular one, two, three, you know? The, the game knows what it's doing. It's just kind of, you know, how, how do you feel in uh, dealing with these Metroids? Alright. Do you ah. notice- oh. Do you notice their pattern? Good. Because here it comes again. All right. So that way, when we start introducing new variations, you won't feel so overwhelmed. Oops. And then by the time you get to, like, the later yeah. areas, it's like, all right, you got this kind of Metroid to fight, then you got that kind of Metroid to fight, and they all have their own, you know, uh, play styles and patterns to follow and all that. Just a big old fun time for everybody. You know, thinking about it, now that we've, you know, joked about it, what if these Metroids, they were made to feast on the X-Parasite? Okay, cool. That's, that's exactly what we need. But what if there was, like, a programming error, I guess, when creating their DNA, to where it thought everything had the X-Parasite? That could be a possibility. It's like, oops, all X-Parasite. And then it's like, all right, it's open buffet! This one's gonna be a little tricky... It looks like there's a Metroid, like, right on top of you. There we go. All right. You see that sap on the side? You can't spider-ball that. That is unspider-ballable. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh! Nice big open spot for this one. Yeah, I like it. No more pits of, what, what was that, red algae? Or something like that? It means that he has more room, too. Well, that's okay. You know, give him his space. He, he's he's a newborn. Oh, well. Alright, well, so much for giving him room, you monster. <laughs> Did you notice that last missile kind of, like, tinked off of him? But it still was enough to kill him? It was it was a hefty tink. Tink. And you get a special cutscene when you get all the Metroids in the area. And it says, hey, back over here to turn in your Metroids. Ah, okay. So, uh, let's say we do that. Okay. Yeah, you weren't kidding when you said uh, this series would be moving along. Well, it's a lot, lot to do here. Is there, is there anything else in here? Like, over to the left or something like that? Nah. No? It's all just... just window dressing. Quick, use a power bomb. Ow. <laughs> Can use spider ball back here. <laughs> he had, like, little icicle hair. <laughs> cold, cold, uh. Was that a new move I saw? What? Holding a charge shot and then jumping. <gasps> well, that's been there since, like, Zero Mission at least. Oh, okay. Maybe even Fusion. Uh, yeah, we just gotta make our way back to that, that area. I'd like to show off one thing, though. Wait for the blocks to come back. Oh. Little oh, place oh, to refill oh. your energy here. Oh. In case fighting three Metroids was just too much for you, or if you're on hard mode. So what do you think? Hard mode was made first, and then they dumbed down the difficulty later? Uh, I could not tell you, because hard mode is certainly hard! So I don't know at what point what was made first. That's another aspect of game design I love looking into. When it comes to a Metroidvania, I'm assuming the map was made first, and then they just, like, peppered each section with different items. I feel like the combat was a bigger bigger part of this, because this started as a Metroid Fusion remake, and then, you know, Nintendo was so impressed by their work, and how much they loved the Metroid series, they said, well, hey, why don't you go ahead and do the, uh, why don't you go ahead and do Metroid 2 instead? Do you think it was a compromise? Like, hey, if you do a remake of Metroid 2, then we'll let you work on something new? Because this is Mercury Stream, right? Yes. Okay. The Mercury Stream are the guys who did Lords of Shadow, which people might roll their eyes at, but I like their work, I like what they do. 
I, I like their 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 graphics. They're outside. They're great artists, and uh, they're pretty good uh, developers as well. Lords of Shadow is still one of the prettiest Castlevanias I've ever seen. Really pushes the 360 and PS3 to the max. It's not not great in terms of uh, you know a Castlevania game. Oh no! But, well, for, no, but, but, but for a solid action adventure title, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. And they got Sir Pat Stu. They, they got the guy who played Rumpelstiltskin in uh, t uh, <laughs> Once Upon a Time, that one CBS. <laughs> no, seriously. I oh really? Yeah. <laughs> And just like, you know, I, uh, was, uh, was he Gabriel? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I was I was watching uh, Once Upon a Time. And it's like, man, it's like, oh, this 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 actor is really good. I wonder I wonder what else has been in. Lords of Shadow is good. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and, I, and I look at the cover, and there he fucking is. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay. <laughs> well, great. If we ever do Lords of Shadow, there <laughs> we have a gimmick <laughs> for the entire thing. Uh, uh, just Gabriel Belmont running to a horn and saying, "Say my name. <laughs> if you can figure out my name, I'll give you your child back." Rumble says he was a bastard in that show. <laughs> <laughs> a lovable bastard, though. Like the whole story. The whole story is about this queen who casts this uh, this spell on this uh, storybook village. Uh -huh. that they forget their their identities and they live in like a you know, typical suburban lifestyle. But the only person who knows of the their true origins are the queen. And by a deal that he set up with her, Rumpelstiltskin. Oh dear. <gasps> yes, Spider Ball. Do 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 do. Because those are all, yep, yeah, yeah. all destructible blocks. You know, actually, now that we have this footage blown up on a bigger yeah. screen, yeah. you can actually see which blocks are fake. It's very subtle, but you can still see it. I, I think there are a few visual cues on certain things. I don't know what the fuck that is. Can't can't do anything here because all the bombs get sucked up. Into <laughs> Shouldn't that be destroying the fan, um, Nintendo? Aha! Uh -huh. It is not a power bomb though. That's not a power bomb. Is that screw attack? I forget what the blue is. Don't know if it's high speed screw attack, some Eon thing. Ah, come on! <laughs> You're gonna make me go up here. Yep. You uh, sure there's nothing there? Oh wait, you could just make that. So you have to ledge, Jump, ledge, ledge, shoot. Wow. Okay. And then quick, back up. Quick, quick. Four quick. comes back. Okay. And there you go. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, nothing, th nothing that way either. I mean, that's just, you know, we're back the way back. Dad, huh? Fuck! You, ca you came to the wrong town, bitch! I think I'll, I think I'll fit in fine here. <laughs> Got a new another bomb there. We can't get two-story apartment here in the purple zone. Just having a great time. Thing up there we can't get. Let me just hit the on fade the scan pulse here. Okay, so nothing going there. Oh, there you go. Couple of things here. Oh, eh, eh, hang on, hang on. You came to the wrong part ah! of town. <laughs> Is there a right part of town? No! Is that like a police station or a welcome center or something? You're screwed! Ah. Let's make our way to area two now. Wouldn't this be area three? Nope. That first area was called the surface. Oh. For that is where the beginning and the end of the game take place. Let's see, what color is this? Oh, it's still purple. It's still purple, which means that we're still in the hall where the Metroids are. The Hall of Metroids. Where they all make their world record attempts and fail miserably because they have no arms and only teeth. They have a record for most uh, eating thing. Most uh, egregious cannibal. So they just do eating challenges all the time. I wonder if the other Metroids play pranks on like the kind of stupider Metroids. Like, hey, eat Taco Bell, I dare you. <laughs> Starts sucking it up and it can't handle the Bel Grande. This cheese went bad a year ago. I dare you to try <laughs> some. <laughs> Stupid Metroid. That thing freaking hurts, man. Yeah, it does. Because he's got like the, the horny spikes. The, I beg your pardon. Oh, good lord. We've got eight this time around. <sighs> Shouldn't be too bad. Nah, we fine. Unless if that happens where I get stun locked into the upper place where I'm most vulnerable. Fuck off! <laughs> ah! You can't rush in this game. If you rush, it's 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 over. But 
Isn't that what you want to do in a speed game? I know, that's what makes it maddening. Go fast. Fortunately for these 100% challenges, we can just take our time. Okay. I just, ah. You came to the wrong point! Ah. And through here is our safe point. <laughs> Alright! Quick, quick, before something else hits me! <laughs> and tell me I'm in the wrong part of town! Phew! So next time, the Metroid Samus returns. We're gonna explore the wrong part of town in Area 2, <laughs> kill eight Metroids, and get some new things. See you next time. You're going down, bitch! Yeah, I, just, ah! I, just, I just want to ask for directions! Like, get like, do, like, do, do you have, like, do you have anything that I can just... Get just, out of my just, town! Just like, like a pamphlet or something? Ah! You know, maybe just like, you know, like, like a town map or whatever? No, no, please, just, no, like, no, no, please! I just want to ask... I need a car! I, I need a car! Need a car, car. Need a car. Oh. Ah! Samus is a girl? What?! See you next time.